All right, guys. We are out on this one. Um, it's a no AC. We're definitely low on Freon. Um, we were when we came up. We were probably about 50 pounds, 50 psi. What I did was uh, I just went ahead and put some nitrogen in it to get the pressures up. See if we can find this leak. And uh, man, I'm I'm telling you what, this uh, I'm really liking this yellow jacket that I got. This uh, uh, AccuProbe leak detector. And I tell you, I've used back rack. I've used a bunch of other ones, and uh, I tell you, man, guys, this one is the best. Uh, for detecting 410 anyway uh, we uh, we tested our coil in here it's a 14 sear this here's a ream 14 sear gas pack model RRPL BO 42 JK 10 E serial 2G7 441 AD BAF 101 007 351. Okay, uh, the customer came around the corner. I had to speak with them for a minute, but uh, the uh, pressures were about uh, 50 psi when I came up, and uh, we put some nitrogen on it. We got the pressure up to about 250, and uh, we went and went over our inside coil with our detector and uh, and uh, we were going over our condenser and uh, I just want to show you guys uh, this yellow jacket AccuProbe this there it is Okay, guys, and that is on 410A. That's right. That was on 410A. At least the people talk about how meters are not sensitive. The meters can't pick it up. You know, I've I've got a lot of meters I've tried that won't pick up nothing. But this one here, this yellow jacket AccuProbe. Uh, it's got the heated sensor in it. That's it. We're going to. Uh, this is warranty unit 2010, so we're going to get it, change them out on warranty coil probably tomorrow. We're going to call for availability. And uh, some manufacturers even charge a warranty handling fee. You believe that? But anyway, they. Some manufacturers. Some places don't charge a warranty. Some places do so anyway, I, and then we got shipping if it's an order part and it's not in stock. So this is this is actually a 14 sear gas pump gas uh, package. So um, we're gonna button it up, quote them out, 